We're talking now to Dr. Julie Summerfield. Please welcome her and the kittens are out. They are out. Oh, I mean, don't be frightened by that applause. <laughs> there you go. What have we got here, Julie? These gorgeous creatures are ragdoll kittens. And we've got a ragdoll uh, adult female on yeah. my lap. This is this her litter? Ah, uh, yeah, this is one litter. Look at that one standing up there, just as it's proud as punch. Me there you go. Have a look around. Yeah, they're we thought we'd road test this breed because they're such a gorgeous breed. And that's what Julie is doing, actually, uh, each appearance, road testing uh, dogs and cats. And uh, maybe you'll see uh, a, a variety of, uh, of cat or a variety of dog and think, that's the one for me. What's significant about rag dollars? Well, look, apart from their beautiful looks, um, their temperament is really the main thing. They're very, very placid. That's why they're called ragdoll cats, because they kind of go limp when you... Uh, I believe she will just lie like a baby. Yeah. Will you lie like a baby? Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah they, they're very, very placid um, cats. And uh, they're actually a bit like dogs. They're, they love people. They'll fetch, and they're very intelligent. You can teach them things. Um, as you notice, they've got colouring sort of like a Siamese. They've got beautiful big blue eyes. And this coat, which we call semi-long, it's not a long head um, cat, is, <laughs> is uh, really very good and very low maintenance, actually, because they don't matter. It's almost like rabbit fur. It's very yeah. silky, and um, they don't have the problems that some of the other long-haired breeds have. Are they a pretty high-toned breed? I mean, expensive and, uh, I oh, mean... Oh, yeah, look, I mean... Oh, any, any... <laughs> oh, careful there. She yeah. got out the tradesman's. Yeah. Any, <laughs> any um, pedigree animal, you know, that's well-bred is going to... You know, probably, cats, probably somewhere in the 450 to 500 yeah. range. But, uh, you know, it's important. They, they are a very hardy breed as well. They don't tend to get too many health problems, just like... All cats, they can get tartar on their teeth and gingivitis and a, a couple of other problems. But yeah. um, if, if you get one from a good breeder, you reduce the... And do you have shots for cats too, you know, when you first get them as little kittens? Yes, yes, they all need vaccinations, which they have from eight weeks of age and, mm -hmm. and every month for three vaccinations and then yearly after that. They're going but, over um, the side. Actually, this one, this female's only uh, nine months old, but they, they're quite slow maturing cats yeah. and they, they end up... Really Really quite big. Where are you I'm going? The, the <laughs> you can you can stay there. Always white with that colouring. Um, they start off white as kittens, and then they develop their colouring. And there's lots of different patterns and colours. These are seal points, so they've, they've got dark points on their ears and their nose. How um, old? These, uh, ones? these are about eight weeks, I think, eight, eight or nine weeks. Mm. Yeah. So we've got a, a website here or a phone number. It's a website to yeah, get more information. Cat world.com.au, cat with, with a hyphen in the middle, um, is a really good website just to ha get some information on the breed and breeders. And these lovely cats are supplied by Jarra Cattery and their website is ragdollcat.com.au. So they're beautiful. Aren't they just gorgeous? They are lovely. But um, one thing about they are great because they're placid and um, very gentle, but you need to be careful. They're really indoor cats because mm -hmm. they're so placid. They can't defend themselves very well, right. <laughs> so they could get into trouble. Well, around Australia, of course, now I think it's, I think it's law in most states that uh, they can't be out at night, can they? I mean, a got... lot of states are starting to yeah. do the curfews now because cats... I think that's a good idea? I, look, I, I think, think it is a good idea. They uh, get up to all sorts of mischief at night, and that's when they tend to do a lot of the fighting and... Yeah. Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? Thank Bad you, Julie. Thank Lovely. You. And uh, it's great to meet these little uh, rag dolls. Rag dollars or rag dolls? Rag dolls. Rag dolls. Yeah. Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Julie Summerfield, our resident vet <laughs> on, uh, on GMA. I was saying to Julie off air, it's amazing with, uh, with dogs and cats. As Julie knows, uh, we're very much pet lovers in, in our family. And we've got uh, three dogs, including uh, Lauren's, and also a lovely old cat called Coco, who is basically uh, mine. But uh, the pet poodle that used to be owned by uh, Patty's mum, her late mum, Yoon, uh, very old now, 17 mm. years of age or whatever, and you can't, I guess, expect too many more years. And over the weekend, she looked really sick. She was finding it hard to stand up and hold deal. So Patty decided to ring the vet and maybe get his advice as to whether we should have her put down. Mm. And uh, our vet wasn't working on the weekend. Patty put the phone down and five minutes later looked out the kitchen window and there is Tuppy with a ball in her mouth, <laughs> prancing around like a, a two-year-old. So you can never <laughs> be, be, never be really certain, can you? No, that's right. They're fighters. They're, yeah. But I'll tell you one thing. I kept moving over the weekend too. I thought Patty <laughs> might be in that mood.
Yeah, you know, I can't have Tuppy, I'll go the old boy. Thank you, Julian. Great to see you as always. Thank you.